Hi, I'm Johnny Weir. Mask up, Lancaster. Lancaster, you've got this. Lancaster, mi gente, manténganse firmes y siempre hacia adelante. Recuérdense que para el que quiere, nada es imposible. Lancaster, you got this. I know it's been a rough couple months everywhere, but if there's one place I know that can get through it and come back stronger on the other side, it's Lancaster. You got this. Let's get fired up, Lancaster. What's in the hole? Good evening, Lancaster Chamber. I'm Matt Nagy, 1996 graduate of Mannheim Central and current head coach of the Chicago Bears. Thanks for this invitation. And hello to our live host tonight, Tom Baldridge and Michelle Rondinelli. I know this annual dinner goes back 147 years and this year's virtual event is different, but I am humbled to be invited to speak to you today. Joining the esteemed list of past speakers that include past presidents, prime ministers, singers, and other celebrities. It's special to me as a local kid from Mannheim, still passionate about my roots in the area. I'd like to start off with my congratulations to this year's standout business people. Entrepreneur of the Year, Derek Diener. Small Business Person of the Year, Walt Grudai Associates. Athena Award for Advancing Women, Carrie Willits. Wellspan Health Exemplar Award for a Lifetime Tribute, Aaron Groff, Effort and National Bank. It is special to be recognized with these awards any year, but certainly in 2020 with all the challenges we have faced. I think it's very important during these times that we all relate to one another and we understand what we're dealing with. There's a lot of different things that myself as a head coach of this football team and you guys as business leaders and business owners, we all have to deal with a lot of similarities right now during these times. And as I look back and reflect as to what we've been through, there are a few that jump out to me. One of the, the, the biggest ones is really adapting and adjusting and expecting the unexpected is one point. Uh, in regards to our team and how we've had to deal with that, in the off season, there was a lot of Zoom meetings that I'm sure a lot of us have all dealt with and, and different types of online meetings where we all get together and try to figure out a way to get through it. What I thought was really cool for us was the way that we did adapt and adjust to the new new. And we got through it. And now here we are back at the facility here at Hallis Hall in, in Chicago and it, it really has helped us grow. I know that you guys as well have had to adjust and adapt to different things. And that's just where we're at right now. Uh, the other part here that we really believe strongly in is over communicating clarity. And what I mean by that is making sure that we all communicate to those around us, those that we work with. Uh, and, and sometimes there's some honest, tough conversations that you have to have during these times. There's a lot of stress that people have. There's a lot of things that are going outside uh, in regards to whether it's finances or whether it's relationships, but it's our job as leaders to make sure that we stay on top of that. And we're always checking on the well-being of those around us, our teammates, you know, and how we work together. It's very, very important. So we always stress over communicate clarity and just making sure that you're there for the good and the bad as you communicate through these tough times. One of the biggest things that I believe in here as a leader of the Chicago Bears and as the head coach, and I know I think is very, very important, is really building a strong culture. Those people that you work with each and every day, knowing people's names, letting them know that you love them, letting them know that you're there for them, the relationships that we build. Cultures get you through crisis. And for us, we've done that right now. We feel really good with how we've gone about it. And it's just very, very important that even, you know, myself as the head coach, uh, my coordinators, uh, other leaders that we have, that we're, we don't think that we're too big to do the little things. That's something that we believe in and making sure you use thank yous and pleases. And it's just it, culture. Culture is so important as we get through these times. So I hope that some of that can help in regards to, again, understanding, uh, adapting, uh, adjusting, expecting the unexpected, over communicating clarity and building a really strong culture. If you do that, and I know that you can, uh, things can get really, really bright. I'm, I'm proud to be from Lancaster. Uh, I think it's awesome uh, for a small town kid of 5,000 people in a little small town in Mannheim to be able to now um, 
live through, live a dream, live a real life dream through hard work and having people around me that helped me get to this point. So again, congratulations to all the winners, to all the award winners here tonight. Uh, I'm honored to be able to, uh, to just give some advice and let everybody know that I support you. Thanks again. I look forward to, uh, to seeing the Barons and the Warwick Warriors go at it tomorrow. I wish you guys the best of luck and bear down.